Hey there, Bridget and Miami for B-Side in Quarantine, just like you hopefully are. The latest album out by Mark E. Bassey is called PMD and it has a lot of bops in it. I got a chance to check in with him to see how he's doing in quarantine and also how his past experiences helped to shape his solo career. How are you? Where are you right now? I'm uh, in my house in LA. And um, how, are you, how are you holding up this quarantine? Uh, I'm holding up good. We It's not really uh, a huge, hugely drastic uh, change to my everyday life. Like, I'm in my studio right now. Okay. Oh. This is where I, it's my piano, nice. my guitar back right there. So what have you been doing um, these last couple of days in quarantine and, and whatnot? I've been quarantined for two weeks now. Oh, really? um, so usually we kind of, I, I live, uh, I have two roommates. Okay. Um, we live in the Valley in LA. So we kind of, we got a nice crib with like a pool and hot tub and a little workout situation. So we just kind of, we kind of spend the first half of the day like working out, cooking food, swim, hot tub, hang out, live life. And then second half of the day, drink a little bit, start recording music. I don't know, watching movies, hanging out. I know that you were in a pop band before, uh, 2 a.m. Um, I just had a, okay. a quick question on that. How did transitioning, you know, from a band to a solo artist, like, helped you, I guess, in a way, independently create music? Um, what are ways that that shifted from being a band to a solo artist? Well, um, when I was in a band, I was kind of frustrated often, I guess, not just with, kind of like with myself almost. Like I, it was just too many people that creatively I could share the responsibility with. So when I got solo, it was more like, you have to really execute your own vision and there's no excuses about it. Um, and I feel like artists, we like to make excuses for why we didn't finish something. It's always like someone else's fault. But at the end of the day, since I became a solo artist, it's just been like, it's really, it's up to me what I do. And I can't really blame it on anybody. So it's been like a opportunity to grow as a person and just know that I gotta take <clears throat> matters into my own hands. And that feels good. But then after a while, you figure out that it's always you're always in a band, whether you like it or not. Um, <laughs> That's true. So, That's you true. know, in a way, like I'm still in a, in a band, just different people. But now I just, I get, I get to reap the biggest rewards because I'm the one that, I'm the face of it. But in, in actuality, I kind of am still in a band, just new people. Were you always musically inclined at a young age? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> How did it start? How did your journey in like music start? Um, I was like, you know, the little white boy rapper in my high school, freestyling, and some kids that were in like jazz band approached me and were asking me like, could I do my thing? I had like like been in front of my school doing like poetry or rapping. <laughs> so kids were like, yo, can you uh? could you do that in our band? And so I tried it and we kind of like did, and then we started writing songs and I was like, oh, I could sing a little bit. I didn't even know I could really sing at all. Started singing a little bit. And then we started, we started entering like Battle of the Bands competitions and we would win every time. And it was like, I played basketball in high school and I, I practiced like, basketball five hours a day since I was 10 you know I was super serious yeah it was like I knew what it I wasn't natural at basketball like I was natural for like a high school player but to get to that next level I was always like man I wish I could be like more athletic or I wish I was six five and you know um and music just everything came so easy like I just joined this little band and then we, every comp like Battle of the Bands would always win. Everyone started talking about it in my school. Kids that like, I played the tape for my girlfriend. She had no idea I did music and she was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, so I was like, wow, people really think this is good. Like, this is so easy. So 
then I started working on it and I just, it was weird. Like I never, <laughs> like looking back, I don't know how I had the audacity cause this was before, this is like during the MySpace era, era. Like I didn't go to college. Like I just went and went for it. Yeah. I, I never was like, is this a good idea? I just did it. Um, that's really all it was. I just, I liked it. I think I've always liked the idea too of like, at first it was a band and then it turned into like, I, I like collaborating with my close friends. Like I like being in a situation where everyone is invested in something with their whole life. Like it just makes me feel like I'm, you know, I'm in like a rock and roll circus or something with my family and like they can't escape. Like we have to just be in here. So much fun chatting with Mark. Make sure to check out his deluxe version of his latest album, PMD.